thing. I, I saw two of the most fucked up things as far as uh, just that have you no shame, you know, and I'm a piece of shit. So for me to think that, you know, I was watching uh, some fucking clip trashing Dr. Phil, and I never saw this. I didn't realize this. I guess like a year ago or two years ago, you know that actress Shelley Duvall who crushed it in The Shining? Well, she's in her 60s now, and I guess she's having, I don't know what she's having. She's having some sort of mental issue. I don't know what it is, okay? But she's old, and she needs medical help. That scumbag... Dr. Phil, who I, I called it. The second I saw that guy, I called it. I, I, that, guy, I was like, that guy looks like a fucking crooked cop. The second I saw him, I was like, that guy looks like he'd plant a fucking gun on you. You know? He'd fucking shoot you over some routine fucking traffic stop, and he'd pull it. He'd do that to a white person. That's how fucking nuts this guy is, right? He's not just standard you know, bad cop going after minorities. This guy would do it. This guy's like a, he is a serial killer look, doesn't he? Um, anyways, that piece of shit fucking interviewed Shelly Duvall and talked to her as if he was trying to help her. And she was saying all of this stuff about how Robin Williams was still alive and fucking, you know, the earth is flat and just all kinds of stuff like that where it's clearly like, okay, oh, my God, all right, shut off the cameras, shut off the cameras, come on, let's not do this to her. And he's sitting there talking to her like, so, like, he's going to try to help her. So, like, you think that uh, Robin Williams is still alive? Okay, um, I think you need... Like, he's, he, he was acting the entire fucking time like he was trying to help her rather than completely exploiting this famous actress who's now in, like, you know, this mental condition. It's just, it was, it was I don't, I don't, how do, how do you still sit down and watch that guy's fucking show? Fuck that guy and everything he's fucking connected to. Jesus, you don't have enough fucking money, you cunt. You don't drag enough fucking penniless people onto your fucking show. You don't have enough honey boo boo people coming on your fucking show. You got to do that. Jesus fucking Christ. But, you know, I've been meditating and I, I guess I'm not supposed to get upset about this. I should, you know, I should expect it. I should expect that behavior out of him. So you're saying that you're hearing these voices in your head are, are saying, I, I don't, I'm making up all of this shit. I couldn't, get, I couldn't get, I don't think I got 20 seconds, 30 seconds into it. The second she said the Robin Williams thing and then they cut to him. So you're saying, once he did that, I, I had to just, <laughs> it's like, shut it off, shut it off, shut it off. Dr. Phil, have you no shame? I swear to God, that fucking guy. I'm trying to think what he wouldn't interview. You know? What wouldn't he? Like, first of all, I love that people watch those shows as, as if they're like watching somebody trying to help somebody. They're not. You can't fix somebody in a half hour episode. On that time when he had that girl on, that little girl on there, the, uh, you know, catch me outside, how about that? That one that went fucking viral. And then he has her back on again. He's like, people thought I was exploiting her, so we took out the studio audience. Yeah, but you still broadcasted it. (laughs) I don't know. But you know something? I'm a hypocritical cunt, all right, because I still watched... The uh, catch me outside. How about that? I just kept seeing it on Twitter and I was like, I have to see what that is. And I'm not going to lie to you. I did watch it and I did enjoy it. So maybe I got to knock back my criticisms. Criticism. Why don't you just exploit people that still have their whole life ahead of them? Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know. Did I become the asshole by the end of that? I don't don't even know where the fuck that whole thing went. 